Today is a very special day. I've been very, very excited to do this for quite some time. Blah, blah, blah. It's one of my favorite drinks conceptually. Fits firmly under the category of guac tail. The guac tail, it's Dwayne the Guac Johnson. This was a menu cocktail at Bar Balada in Oklahoma City in circa 2018 maybe, and there are quite a few components to this drink because this was our maximalist era for sure. Like we were, we were really, we had something to prove I guess. The idea behind this cocktail is it is a margarita that is also based on guacamole. So it has all of the flavor components that you would find in a guacamole. Specifically, the guacamole at Chipotle, one of my earliest jobs, and I made a lot of guacamole. Big fucking bowls of guacamole. This has everything that the Chipotle guacamole has, but in a cocktail, margarita style, let's do it. This is acidified tomato water. Sounds super pretentious, tastes pretty good. It is essentially just tomatoes that are blended and then strained. You get the water, you add citric and malic acid to it, get it to about lime strength. It's really tasty, clean, kind of tomatoey flavor, a little bit of a savory kind of quality to it. And then it adds that kind of nice vegetal vibe to it as well. And actually now that I'm thinking about it, there, there aren't tomatoes in the Chipotle guac. This was just uh, something that I thought would be really cool. Certified tomato water. Next thing on the list, jalapeno tincture. Some leftover jalapeno bits. I use like the head part that you cut off and like the little ribs and I threw it in some Everclear, let it sit, boom, jalapeno tincture. There's a lot of things in this drink. We have avocado tequila. This is just Blanco tequila, and I blended it up with avocado, and I put it in this bottle. In the original drink, there is a cilantro syrup. I didn't have time to make it. If it's all the same to you, I'm just gonna put the, muddle the herb in, we'll shake it in with the drink and add regular simple syrup. It's it's basically the same thing. What else is, is left here? Lime juice. This is probably my favorite part of the drink. I think this kind of makes it. It's a red onion salt. So it's just dehydrated red onion that is blitzed up in a spice grinder and then I add regular old salt to it. Just kosher salt. It smells super oniony and savory and it just like really drives home the whole experience. Let's just, let's make the drink. Like any marg, we're going to start by prepping our glass. Orange or whatever citrus. Citrus really works the best for this because it has that little bit of a stickiness to it. And just give it a little, add this guy in there. Perfect. We got our ice, we got our glass ready to go. Just a little bunch of cilantro straight into the tin. Three quarters of an ounce of cilantro syrup. We're gonna be splitting the acid into two. We're gonna add half an ounce of just regular old lime juice, and then half an ounce of acidified tomato water. So we've got our sweet and our sour, time for our base spirit. So we're gonna do two ounces of avocado tequila. Jalapeno tincture, a little bit spicy. So this is kind of a time where you get to pick your own adventure. I like mine nice and spicy and I really want that jalapeno flavor to come through. So I'm gonna do three. You can also do this with a Serrano and maybe you know adjust accordingly. That is everything. Kinda looks like guacamole. It kind of tastes like guacamole. <laughs> two big pieces of ice here. Come on, we're just gonna put it in, screw it. And I am gonna fine strain this, get any extra chunks of herb out of there. Add a pretty little cilantro. This is the ultimate flex here, as I made these little tortilla chip strips, and that goes right on top, and there it is. Dwayne the Guac Johnson. What's that rap song? Gotta be strong, you gotta be tough. You oh gotta, my God. You gotta be to survive. I'm more of a John Cena guy. Maybe a Rey Mysterio type of dude. It's about drive, it's about power. Here is Dwayne the Guac Johnson, the guac tail of the spring. I feel like this is another one of those drinks that the garnish really does kind of complete the experience. That tortilla 
corn flavor and the like oniony salt really like sells it for me. Otherwise it's kind of almost, it's almost a little bit weird because it's like really creamy, but also really savory at the same time. So that's, that's kind of like a weird vibe, but it like really works once you get the, the salt and the corn and it starts to make sense as guacamole. Yeah, it's like liquid guacamole. Rich, creamy avocado. It has the vegetal parts to it. Uh, still not getting enough jalapeno. Don't know what's wrong, but I need to pour like more of that in there. I also feel like you could kind of pare this down less complicated and still kind of get the same idea across. We did that already. Yeah, yeah. Frozen. We did a frozen guacamole. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, maybe we'll make that um, maybe in the summer or something like make that. We could, the the frozen guac tail. We also did a frozen version of this drink that is similar, not quite the same. And it's also super, super good. In fact, I don't know. I think I might like the frozen one better, to be honest. This one's super cool and it's an interesting drink. It showcases a lot of pretentious bartendery kind of stuff. If you like that kind of stuff, sure. I'm kind of over it, but. What bullshit. <laughs> if the technique actually ends in a great result, then it's worth it. There's a lot of components for this drink and I get that, but maybe it'll inspire you to make something for yourself. It's really good. I mean, a lot of these components could be cool in, in other drinks too to play around with. So there you go. It's immortalized finally on the internet. Dwayne the Guac Johnson. Cheers. Salud. Happy drinking. Yeah, can I? Cheers. Here, let me put another chip on there for you. Chip off the old. It's about drive, it's about power. <laughs> <laughs>